Hey, we're here. We got all our food catered from our opas. My buddy Costa, he always takes care of us. The food is phenomenal. The best of Dallas, trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Hey, how's my big fat Greek family doing today? We're gonna go buy a whole lamb and I'm gonna teach you guys how to roast it. Let's go grab it. All right guys, so here is where they store all the whole lambs. This is where the body bags are. I found my victim. I'm gonna take him to the restaurant and get him ready for a delicious supper. Chef Aaron, we're gonna do the lamb today. Good morning, hello Chef everybody. Aaron, Look what we got over here. Say, what have we done so far, uh, Chef Aaron? Salt and pepper. We had to put uh, garlic and then carrots, and red wine. We're gonna teach you guys how to properly roast a whole lamb, Greek style. All right, so cool. So we got the uh, the spit here, and uh, we laid down some foil, pro tip there. Lay down some foil, that way you can just rip this all out when you're done with the lamb. We're gonna fill this cavity with uh, red wine, soaked bread, back braces here. So the back braces, they just go right inside there and attach to the spine. All right, so inside the cavity, we're gonna put onions, carrots, bread, soaked with red wine, and then we're gonna sew that up. All right, let's get these back legs tied up. So get a good, strong needle. We're gonna use this baker's twine here, which we'll cut. Make sure you uh, cut extra baker's twine so you don't run out. And you can always uh, trim it after you're done. And feed that through the middle, through the eye of the needle. Start at the base. Remember, make sure that you put put it on the spit before you sew it up. So any doctors watching this, you have to let me know if uh, we're doing the right uh, stitching here. What this is gonna do by putting all of this inside the cavity, the wine is gonna steam up really nice and cook the lamb from the uh, inside out as well. Yeah, keep those nice and tight. And we're gonna stitch this guy all the way up. Me and Chef Aaron, we're gonna make the uh, the basting sauce for that right now. It's gonna be composed of uh, olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, and uh, lemon juice. Add, uh, one and a half cups of lemon juice. Four cups of good extra virgin olive oil. And six ounces of uh, Worcestershire sauce, two ounces of garlic, Chef Aaron. We're basing it back there, buddy. Yeah, look at, look at that. Look at that. Dude, it looks great. You're doing a great job, Aaron. Thank you. Looks really good. Anyway. So we're gonna continue to base this guy for the next six hours. Uh, so let me throw a little time lapse. Lamb is so good. It was like beef, but with flavor. If you haven't tried lamb before, I definitely recommend you trying it. You don't actually have to order a whole lamb, but come in and uh, order a lamb souvlaki. This is actually a leg of lamb. So good. Cook it with uh, olive oil, lemon, and oregano, and a lot of garlic. Mm. Cheers.
As we're heading out to Plano to take care of our guests, we're super excited to execute another flawless event. If you had smell-o-vision, this van smells so freaking great. That lamb we had roasting is just like permeating this entire van. And like, you see those vents? Those are like vents of love right there. Those little holes, it's like little lamb, lamb smells. Woo! All right, guys, listen, if you're gonna do a catering order, you're gonna need cups. I left them actually at the restaurant, but I left in time uh, to make a quick pit stop if I needed to. So the catering order is saved, but we gotta go, okay? We had a mission, we had a plan. But tiny changes can be hard to understand. Everybody fed over here. That is right here. That is uh, 80, maybe 95. Very, very happy people. They're back there enjoying everything. Another successful catering done. For those of you guys watching the vlog that are looking to open up a business, definitely consider having a really great catering menu and being able to offer full service catering where you can come into a business and actually like pass out the food and enjoy it. You have to meet so many people, uh, so many great contacts and it's just a really great way to grow your business. So uh, we enjoy doing it. If you ever need a whole lamb catered, uh, maybe with some roasted potatoes and a Greek salad, uh, give me a call and I'll definitely uh, run right over to you guys. Just another long day, I'm gonna go edit all this video. So I'll probably go to bed around two or three tonight in the morning and wake up, do it all over again tomorrow. The life of a uh, restaurant tour vlogger. Is, is that, does that sound right? Restaurant tour vlogger? Let me know in the comments if you like that, I don't know. I, I am so sorry, Mr. Lamb. You were delicious, thank you so much. It was fun, it was a pleasure. We will see you at the next roast. That's gonna wrap it up for the vlog. If you have any other questions about how to cook a lamb, how to cook a whole lamb, email me or leave a comment in the section below. If it's your first time watching our restaurant vlog, shouldn't eat with a mouthful, should I? If it's your first time watching this vlog, uh, leave us a thumbs up if you like it and uh, smash that bell that way you don't miss out on any uh, upcoming videos and we will see you guys in the next video cheers